<laughs> uh, I'm trying to find a place to sit. I'm just kind of aimlessly wandering around right now, so I'll sit in this chair. I need a prop for this. Presenter. Turn on these markers. Ah, okay. Take us away. All right, this is the best business you're going to ever hear about, let me tell you. Right on the barrier. It's a luxury cruise with nuclear ooze. More on that later. I'm Roger Anda, the founder of this thing, business. Yes, sole proprietorship, in fact. Uh, Started by me, yeah, it focuses on a tourism, energy, fishing, electronic markets. It's beautiful. I would say it's a life-changing it? experience. Luxury cruise, efficient nuclear energy powers this. It's really quite the sight. We here at Bread on the Barrier are committed to providing the best and most efficient experience in the cruise industry. We pledge to use nuclear energy as a means to stop polluting the earth. We also want to put an end to world hunger by selling fish cheaply to countries in poverty. We put our vessel to use in the most efficient manner as a way to stop wasting resources. With this Mediterranean Sea, uh, we chose it for Spain and Romania, which we will see uh, why I chose those two countries later, but uh, this is where the cruise will take place. There will be a lot of stops. Uh, yeah. So, uh, who are we selling stuff to? We're selling it to the rich and the poor. The poor we will sell fish. The rich we will sell the experience. And, uh, yeah, here's a nice chart. I, I, I did the math. 14% of the people uh, would be buying the experience, I think. How much does the experience cost? Uh, a, lot, later. a lot of money. Do you have a price number? Um, probably a couple thousand dollars. Okay, continue. Other cruise lines in the Mediterranean will be shocked to find out how be much better we are than them. It's honestly quite shocking. Like, they, they claim to be the best, but no, it's not the case. Nice try. Uh, and then other fishing industries, uh, yeah, we're going to be able to undercut their prices for obvious reasons. We'll get to later, but um, yeah, the Royal so Caribbean going to later, is kind of cringe. I don't like them because I'm better. So for the cruise, I've made a rough draft of a menu. Uh, notice Delicito's trademark. Uh, yeah, that's a... What are those? Well, it's kind of like, uh, you know, you bite into it, it's got cream cheese, macaroni and cheese with a vanilla flavor covered in panko. I'm kind of going for like a Cinnabon kind of experience with this thing. Uh, there'll also be a water park, but I'm just going to outsource that to some architect. Uh, so you, you want to put like slides on the side of the cruise that people can shoot out of, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's going to be great. So uh, this is beautiful art made by a, a modern day Picasso. You know who you are. And uh, here we can see a rough draft of how we will be collecting our fishes. This is a nuclear bomb. And I think if we bomb the fishes and all their dead bodies rise up, we can just get them with the nets. It'll be really cheap and efficient because this is already nuclear powered. So if we use the plutonium from the nuclear uranium uh, combustion, then we can uh, get nuclear bombs and just nuke the fishes. This is a, uh, the red stops are like where we're gonna, you know, visit in the cruise, but the purple stops are places uh, that we're gonna nuke for the fish. And uh, here we can see a uh, Black Sea, uh, that one, between <laughs> Sardinia and uh, Sardinia and Sicily, uh, there's a nice stop. Uh, Albania, not to see that one, just snooping them, but uh, yeah, so a retired Navy officer 
who sourced right here uh, has posted the uh, Navy's estimated estimated fish that were killed in the nuclear explosion of Bikini Atoll. And that's a pretty big number. And uh, every two to three months, we'll get enough uh, plutonium to make a nuke. So I think we could really save world hunger with uh, this. Save it or end it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> save it from itself. Oh, okay. this thing. Uh, so yeah, notice how Spain and Romania are both stopped here. And that's because uh, they're great countries to house a VPN, which uh, we will uh, more on that later. <laughs> so a, re a nuclear reactor, 13,968 megawatts in one day. That's the average of all reactors in America. And, uh, and that's enough power to power 648 servers running at one time. And servers are pretty cool because you can do a lot of things with the server. I think we put a few servers, make a VPN service that moves. How many VPN services do you know that move? <laughs> Probably well, not a lot. If there's any. international waters on, you know. Yeah, but I don't think the Mediterranean Sea is international waters. Though, should we have a non-Mediterranean uh, operation, then there would be that. And, uh, so how Americans, so your crews, I'm going to back up because I'm, I'm following along astutely. <laughs> so you're starting off in the Mediterranean. Yes. And you're ending up in the Black Sea. So, you're, so I had to fly across the world to get to your your starting point, right? Well, yeah. You can't just pick me up in, in America and then take me over there? No, nah, this is a Mediterranean cruise. We don't, uh, we don't go to America. You don't have a permit for it? If you're rich enough to pay for this multi-thousand dollar cruise, you're rich enough to visit Spain. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and uh, here uh, we have uh, 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 sources on uranium and uh, thorium. Right now we have a low estimate on the nukes uh, for uranium. Notice how uh, thorium produces no nukes, but it's way cheaper to buy and produce energy. Um, so, in the off chance that the international community gets upset about the nuclear bombing of Albania, um, we might have to switch to thorium to stop the nuclear program. But that's worst case scenario. And, uh, I mean, they're, they, they shouldn't. No one's going to miss Albania anyway. The Albanians would. <laughs> well, not after they're all nuked. <laughs> All right, that's my uh, last slide. Uh, any questions? You. Radiation poisoning. How would you deal with that? Well, are you suggesting these people eat no fish at all? They're starving. I'd rather starve than die poisoned by radiation. So they buy a boat. It does sound painful. Starvation sounds more painful to me. But they say it. Suit they say yourself. Do you ever see Chernobyl? Um, the miniseries on HBO? I have not. They have some kind of pill they take too, helps them with the radiation in here, I don't know what it's called. Also, the Japanese, back in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they ate algae, uh, and the algae uh, dissolved a lot of the radiation in it. So, yeah. They say the there used to be a lake in Africa that had a lot of algae before it got polluted, and all the algae died. Lake Chad. Did you do realize that after 14 days, most people that had radiation usually die? Wow. So after 14 days, all the how long is your cruise? Well, are you gonna be liable if people die on it? I think it's gonna be a 14 day cruise, and uh, is there a waiver? I, 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 I think I would be liable if people died <laughs> on the cruise, <laughs> but if people sure died like because of the cruise day, right? that weren't on the cruise, I don't think I would be liable for anyone that that's not on the cruise, cause uh. Yeah, I don't see how people would die on the cruise. Also, would you be afraid of polluting the ocean? Or, well, yeah. What? It's not polluting. Okay, think of all the coal plants out there that are polluting the skies with and the oceans with their oil and their coal. But we're just barreling our nuclear waste and then dumping it in Albania after they're new. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. 
That's all. Anything else? Yeah, that's what I'm saying.